What up, YouTube? Welcome again to another video. Video. I can't believe I'm actually getting ideas and getting these out here. Um, it, it, it's just shocking to me. Anyways, today's video we're gonna be talking about actually a comment on my first video. Uh, well, the first one I posted in a long time, the depression vid. So this question sort of was posted by a Garthen Keeper. Uh, he's saying I have the same thing too. Thank God I'm not the only one. By the way. You talk about your experience of 2016 and how you describe it in three words. Well, first of all, I wanted to touch on one topic before we get on that, and then uh, we'll continue in. First of all, I wanted to talk about something I've been really concerned about. Um, I've been seeing around a lot. Um, what the fuck is up with this new fashion trend for guys with really tight skinny pants and then kind of like bloated out at the sides, and then a really long ass shirt that doesn't really say anything. It's just really long. It's got a deep V-neck. If you look at me and how I dress every day, I dress just good. I dress nice. I dress professionally every day. Button down, jeans, my sh okay, my sleeves are always rolled up, um, but I also know I'll throw on a hat or something, you know, if you cover this up, because this doesn't want to work today. But, you know, I don't care. But, I've seen this, and okay, yes, my motto is to never impose my beliefs on someone, and to never hurt someone, but guys, really? <laughs> really? Like, what is this? It is just weird. It doesn't make sense, but... Alright, well, you know, you do you. You love your fashion as much as you want to, but... You're really wearing a really long-ass shirt for no reason. Stop pretending. Those shirts were meant for a reason. How I would I describe 2016 in three words? We got fucked. I, I will just say that. This We got fucked. Um, so many amazing people died. Trump got elected. I don't know how that happened, but we did elect. I mean, it, it would have been bad either way. So either way right now, I would have been saying, Excuse me, there is a message for you. Shut up! Um, Bob or Hillary, we elected Hillary, or we elected Trump, or whatever. Anyways, uh, moving on. We have fucked. However, 2016 has also been an amazing year for a lot of YouTubers and Twitch streamers and just, like, it online content creators in general a lot of them have been growing and experiencing new things a lot of more companies are getting in on sponsoring them and working a lot with them um obviously casey neistat i think is like the staple of 2016 all the amazing things he's done um, all the amazing youtubers like sprinkle of glitter is done a lot of amazing stuff this year if you don't know who she is she's like an Sort of an ex-beauty vlogger, but now more of like a real shit vlogger. I don't know. Go check her out. She's really cool. Um, my my girlfriend introduced me to that. That was she's really cool. But yeah, there's like a lot of just amazing content that came out this year, except for YouTube Rewind. I didn't really like it. I didn't really get it much, but eh, that's my personal opinion. That's probably because I just didn't get half the jokes. Anyways, um, okay, well, Superwoman as Beyonce. That was badass. I'm not gonna lie. That was just like, yeah, yeah. I I don't know. I don't know why, but just Superwoman is the Beyonce of YouTube. Just makes sense for me. All right. She. Another thing about 2016. Superwoman just fucking hell. Lily Singh just blew the fuck up. Just amazing content. She works really hard, and kudos to her. I'm never gonna have that worth ethic. I'm just too fucking lazy. <laughs> God damn it. Ah. Uh, um, uh, it's been an amazing year for games. We got, well, we got Overwatch. Well, yeah, we got the official release of Overwatch uh, in 2016. And then we've got other amazing games, like indie games coming out. We got, we got the announcement for um, Last of Us 2. Who's excited? Who's gonna play it on PS4 for me? Because I don't have a PS4. I can play it on. The only one is in the living room, and that's just too annoying. Bum, bum. Um, yeah, so there's that. So I would say 2016 has been an amazing year for a lot of people, and then now we're gonna talk about my experiences. In 2016, uh, I tried to get up to Canada and I failed. They stopped us at the border because we looked like a bunch of hobos. Um, <laughs> no. I, I was part of a group called STVX, a bunch of great guys, um, and they had me on as a video editor and I was also as like a co-podcast. 
post and then they wanted me to go up to Canada to their stream house to like do all that stuff full time. We didn't really plan it out right. Um, I got my first car, my first license and my first insurance all all three in the same week and left in the same week. Like just, it all happened so quickly and we went through Detroit. Um, so we drove from California to Detroit, it didn't really work out. We kind of got stuck in Detroit. We went down and hung out with one another SDX member for a bit so we get our bags right. I moved down here to Texas to be with my girlfriend and I got my first two real jobs, which I hate. <laughs> Um, or hated because I no longer work there um, and I've definitely dealt, definitely found more of myself in this time I feel like I'm more honest with myself um, more honest with my depression and anxiety um, I definitely like for example I figured out that the byproduct of my depression and my anxiety is my impatience and my lack of trust so who know um, yeah I uh, saw a lot of great movies Suicide Squad Rogue One, I mean, come on, God, fuck, it was amazing, and yeah, that was pretty much my experience, I mean, the whole road trip, that, that is like a whole video by itself, I'm not sure when I'm ready to talk about everything that happened, um, not because there's nothing bad, it's just because I need to remember everything that happened, so, yeah, anyways, that, that's been my 2016 experience, go ahead and comment down below what you guys' um, experiences were, also, post the question down below, and you might get featured in the video like uh, the Agarth and Keeper did. Thank you, my friend. I'm I'm going to see if I can do this on camera. I, I doubt I can, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try to do this every time. Nope. Nope. Can you see it? No, you can't see it. Okay. I'm going to tell you beforehand that you got featured in my YouTube video. So, cool, right? Mm, life. Alright. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, make sure to drop a like. Comment down below if you guys want to be featured in the video with an awesome question or video topic. Or just comment down below with dicks and stuff and we'll have a dick party down there. So, anyways, until next time, make sure to love yourselves and love life. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces!